Hey, everybody. Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. How you doing? Uh, I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Cause it's going to be a while. 2017-18 Donruss basketball. Five box break number 14 for eBay. Let's do it. All right. Well, I hope you got your popcorn ready. I hope you use the bathroom. I hope, uh, you know, all that. Because we're going to be here a while. All right. Good luck, everybody. Who got better handles? White chocolate or Kyrie? White chocolate. All day. Every day. Who's the better finisher? Kyrie Irving. Wasn't Len Bias going to be like a, a Celtics player? But then he like overdosed or something? Best handles ever? Yeah, I was going to say Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete got the best handles in league history. But the, the man asked me a specific question. He asked me white chocolate or uh, or Irving. Give me Jason Williams with the heat version, bro. Over, over any Kyrie Irving. Kyrie's a better finisher. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, Pistol Pete. Ridiculous. The original white chocolate right there. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of good players with sick handles, man. Rod Strickland had nice handles. Tim Hardaway, one of the nastiest crossovers ever. Allen Iverson had a had a nasty crossover. Isaiah Thomas had a nice handle back in the day. People, no, that that's I'm just I'm just saying for for added effect. Chris Fitz is, I would take the the Jason Williams version on the Heat. Than any version of Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving to me is super overrated. Super. Nobody was talking about Kyrie until LeBron got to Cleveland again. You know, Kyrie had that team for years and that was his team. Never had a winning record. Now LeBron comes to town, shows him how to win. And no, no, and ev and everybody's on his jock. Oh, Kyrie, Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. Kyrie is overrated. The dude's a loser. What I mean by that is his teams do not win. He's having a lot of success with the Celtics, and that's awesome. But Celtics faithful, I'm telling you right now. I would uh I would hop off that bandwagon if I were you. Yes he did, Joel. Yes he did. I just dude, I don't know man. Oh dude, that was one of the sickest teams back in the day, the Sacramento Kings. Their style of basketball was awesome. I, I wish they never traded Jason Williams for Mike Bibby. But uh, what are you going to do? All right, here we go. Donner's basketball. Good luck, peeps. Now, the reason why I personally don't like this product is because there's just way too many base cards. One auto, one relic per box. With a loaded draft class like this, show some more love. But, like, these rated rookies are moolah. If you are lucky enough to get an autograph. Yeah, Kyrie don't play defense. He, you know, amazing handles can finish at the rim like nobody's business. Offensively, great point guard. Defensively, no. And honestly, you know, he, he has that he has Kobe mentality, which is awesome. You know, he has that killer instinct. But people forget he's a point guard. He should be making other people around him better. And he just does not do that. 
Yeah, I would say this is the Series 1 of basketball. Except at least Series 1 has short prints. This don't got that. And just the base cards, they're just, look at this. Just if, if all they really just change that brown to like white or something, instantly better. But the, some of the inserts are cool. Like the Court Kings inserts. Or the Hall Kings, you know, for the the Hall of Famers. The Rated Rookies. Like, these are really nice looking cards. But that aside. <clears throat> but with that being said, you get a hit and oh boy. Like the Dominator Autos in this are nice. Rated Rookies again. Trying to get something. I think this is the first rated rookie. It's a 189 Thomas Bryant for the Lakers. God, justice. I'm just, I'm telling you right now, Pappy, Kyrie Irving's going to break your heart at some point. He's going to come up short. Marcus Camby for the Blazers, the autograph. You got Hawks and Raptors, Paul. Let's see what we can do for your boy. Got that. Tyler Light in the 49 for the Nuggets, the rated rookie. See, the rated rookies are fire. The trouble is hitting it. Which is why we do what we do, baby. I'm trying to get the greatness. Dennis Smith Jr., who uh, was my pick for Rookie of the Year. One box down. Greg Oden trying out for the big three. Oh my god. Why is that man doing that? Cavaliers are whooping up on the Thunder right now. What's Greg Oden going to do in the big three? Blow his knees out? Stromile Swift was really nice back in the day for the Grizzlies. That dude was like, he, he kind of reminded, I guess someone I could compare him to would be uh, Amari Stoudemire. I like dude, Nate Robinson might be fun to watch. That dude could jump out the gym. I remember Stromile Swift though. He, he was nice. Baron Davis with one of the all-time great dunks on AK-47. You think so, Paul? They're, they're enjoying the honeymoon, so they're going to be balling. And that's why I compared him to Amari Stoudemire. You know, when, when Stoudemire was playing for the Suns, I think he got, like, all his points on dunks. I'm gonna, I'm kind of going to have to agree with that, Chris Fitz. Although he had some good seasons in New York. He was still doing his thing in New York. But, yes. Steve Nash Definitely made him way better than he really is. At this point, Joel, I do think the Warriors are going to repeat. I don't think it's going to be even close. I think I think they might be the first team in league history to go undefeated in the playoffs. Honestly. 
I don't see anybody in the West beating them. Rockets, in my opinion, are fool's gold. Thunder are an X-Factor, though. Cavs team is probably going to make it to the finals just because fucking LeBron and how trash the East is as a collective. Maybe next year, though, Paul, Utah ain't making the playoffs this year. I'll tell you that. See, the Core Kings inserts are pretty cool looking. Amir Johnson to 199 for the Sixers. Cool, we got to play tomorrow. That should be fun. And then it's All-Star break. Festivities starting on Friday, I think, for All -Star, NBA All-Star Weekend. Uh, the Cavaliers are up by 8 points, but they're going to lose this game. Call it. Bill and Beer for the Pistons. Bad boys. Detroit basketball. That's a nice one. Shout out to the Pistons. Just keep it moving. So there's the auto. Should be a relic here. Oh man, look at this dude. Half man, half amazing. Vince Carter of the Suns with a patch. Have I ever been to a Panthers game? No, I have not. I want to though. I think the season's going on right now. I need to uh I need to make some maneuvers and go to a game. It's probably a lot of fun. Probably a, a bunch of drunkards. I really would go just to see a fight, really. You know what Utah's problem is, though, Paul? You know what the Jazz's biggest problem is? Thomas Bryant to 299 for the Lakers. Oh, I'm sure I would. I want to go. Just, uh, you know, I'm not going to go by myself like a weirdo. Need to need to go with some with a homie or something. Yeah, I did have a friend who loves hockey, but, you know, we don't we're not really speaking right now, so until me and her start talking again, I need to find a little date to go. <laughs> to 99 Mark of Soul Grizzlies. It's a 10 point game, but the Cleveland Cavaliers are still going to lose. Or at least I would like them to. Russell Westbrook. What a disgusting move. Gary Harris to 299 for the Nuggets. That's what I'm saying. That's why I would want to go is just to see somebody get knocked the f*** out. All right, let's it for that box. guess about halfway 
but not really. This is box number three. I'm trying to do something nice for you, Paul. I am getting hungry. Luckily, I brought some grub. I'm about to go ham on some of that. Bree Bree! Asking for some wizards. I got you. I got you, boo boo. Jason, that's always a good choice. Gotta love Pollo Tropical. Yo, Jason, you ever been to, uh. What's it called? Miami subs? Like celebrity deathmatch, you mean? You guys ever see that? I mean, it's not real people, it's claymation, but you know. Still get the satisfaction of seeing, you know, your celebrities go at it. That's kind of why I watch wrestling, which reminds me, SmackDown is done. But yeah, you know, I fucking love wrestling. Miami subs is the shit! LeBron versus Ron Artest, well damn, R.I.P. LeBron. So if we're talking about contact sports, did y'all hear about Floyd Mayweather trying to get into the octagon? What an idiot. Just dude, just count your money and just go away. Darren Collins into 189 for the Pacers. What a what a what a jerk. Like why? Why would you want to get into MMA, bro? Your boy for the Jazz, Rudy Gobert, with a napkin. All right. What else we got here? Terrence Ferguson to 299. Thunder. Does anybody else find it creepy when you catch your girl, like, staring at you? Like, I don't have a girlfriend, but I have this chick that I'm talking to. And sometimes I catch her just, like, staring at me. And I find that so weird. Like, why are you staring at me? Just take a picture. It lasts longer. What up, Snake Eyes? How you doing, my dude? Doing a little Donner's basketball right now for eBay. How's everything with you, my man? Paul, you used to fight, my dude? For the Cavaliers, Jim Chones. There you go. You got the six or snake eyes? Oh, boy. All right. Well, so far, I'll tell you this. There have been no six-year autographs. However, we got two boxes left. 
Well, that's it's not my, that's not my girl, Paul. It's not it's not my girl. Well, Snake Eyes, that that that's gonna happen regardless. I mean, come on, Snake Eyes, come on, come on, Snake Eyes, like c come on, come on, give me give me a break here. I don't go I don't go to your job and I don't tell you what to do, do I? I know what I'm doing, baby. I got you. I got you. Darren Collison to 299 for the uh, for the Pacers. Oh, dude, yeah, Simmons for sure is gonna ship with the Sixers. I mean, what you want, JJ Redick? Because that's not gonna happen. I'll tell you right now, JJ Redick not gonna ship to you because that's a veteran base. But yeah, I got you on the Simmons, bro. That's that dude he's going to you. I got you. I got you, Snake Eyes. I got you. This this ain't amateur hour, dog. We will take care of you. I mean, I can't guarantee you an autograph, but at the least, I can guarantee you, you know, your rookies inserts and things of that nature. Bradley Beal to one ninety nine for the Wizards. Uh, what do we do with base cards, Bree Bree? We burn them, and we contribute to the uh, to the greenhouse effect. I got you, Snake Eyes. I got you. No, but honestly, Bree Bree, we uh, we pretty much stockpile the base cards. We have like monster boxes on top of monster boxes, just straight up bait. I got base cards on the wall. I got base cards everywhere. And if you're wondering, well, why don't you just ship the base cards? Well, the simple and straightforward answer to that is it is way too expensive. Especially with a product like this, I'm only doing five boxes, and I'm damn near filling up a monster box with it. Like, could you imagine shipping base cards for every single team? Nightmare. And honestly, it's not worth it. That's a very you raise a very good point, Snake Eyes. I mean, I'm honest. I'm not honestly. I don't know what my partner does with it. I'm not sure if he like gives it away to like a local hospital or something. Honestly, don't know. But I think that's a pretty cool idea. Oh boy, 
All right, almost uh, done here. All right, here we go. Show me something nice, Donruss basketball. Denzel Valentine to 299 for the Bulls. I appreciate that, Paul. Use a, use a real one for that. Now, if everybody could just do the same and get two of their friends to join the breaks, and that thing would just snowball, and then I'm breaking nonstop. That's the goal. DeMar DeRozan with a napkin for the Raptors. What else? I see what you did there, Bree Bree. I see what you did there. Let's see if we can make it happen, Captain. Alrighty. Really? To 189, Terrence Ferguson rated rookie for the Thunder. Well, Paul, I appreciate that, my you. What do we have here? For the Hawks, DeAndre Bembry. Autograph. That's uh, not a problem, Snake Eyes. Truth be told, there's not going to be too many of them. I see, I see you like the Sixers. Nikola Vucevic to 299. Nothing. Kawhi Leonard of the Spurs to 99. Well, so much for the uh, Thunder coming back. It's probably going to be a loss there for the Thunder. Cavaliers look like a, well, they pretty much are a brand new team. Balling. Good for them. <laughs> they still ain't going to beat the Warriors, though, so. So, so seriously. Can you blame him, Paul? Can you can you blame him? All right, last box, Mojo. What's to be had? Well, it's an eight-point game. Metal about to shoot free throws. Got a minute and eleven seconds left, and they're in the bonus. Well, both teams are in the bonus. Thunder got two timeouts. Cleveland got two timeouts. If Carmelo drains these free throws, which he better, it'll be a six-point game. And he missed one, so there you go. Yeah, I heard. If, if what you mean is LeVar Ball saying that Lonzo's going to leave after his rookie contract is up if they don't sign his other two brothers, is that what you mean, Jordan? No, I agree. I mean, Russell Russell Westbrook is a really tough player to build around. You know, his, his style of play is kind of crazy.
Well, looks like the Thunder about to take this L dog on the Cavaliers. It's kind of scary how good LeBron is. Yeah, people want to talk shit about him. He's a diva. He's this. He's that. But damn. The guy just does it. Listen, a lot of people shitting on Lonzo, but Lonzo's going to be a good player. He's going to be a really good player. The problem with him is his dad. Lonzo's real problem for his future is his dad. Plain and simple. His dad should just shut the fuck up. Like I've never heard of a, of a franchise banning someone's parent, but I would ban LeVar Ball. From the Staples Arena, you ain't watching no games. I don't care. I don't care who's your son. You do not badmouth the organization. You don't. You don't bite the hand that's feeding you. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Last box, Mojo. I think Kuzma's close to reaching his ceiling and maxing out his potential. Whereas Lonzo Ball hasn't even scratched the surface of reaching his potential. But, dude, his pops is just really, really killing it for him, man. It's going to get to the point where no one's going to want to deal with him, you know? Uh, Paga Soul Spurs. Well, Snake Eyes, yeah, man. I mean, you, you, it looks like he came late to the party, but it's only five boxes of this. This is the fifth box. If you were watching on YouTube, you would be able to uh, go back in the stream about two hours. And the final autograph is going to the Thunder, the Seattle Supersonics, with the Vin Baker autograph. You know, I was watching basketball, and Vin Baker, a former Heat player as well, my man was wet from three all day. It's a nice card for the... Uh, I go to the Thunder. Seattle Supersonics go to the Thunder. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, the 299 for the Hornets. I remember him coming out of college. There, there was a big hoop, hoopla about him. He turned out to be a, you know, a decent NBA player. Yeah, LeVar, LeVar Ball is going to be the reason why no one's going to want to bother with Lonzo like Lonzo's gonna have to like transform into like LeBron overnight and that's the only way like people are gonna want to deal with him Giannis Antetokounmpo for the Bucks to 99 all right maybe they throw an extra auto in here for us Got to be, got to be positive. You never know. You never know. Russell Westbrook to ninety nine for the Thunder. Uh, just this. Actually, I have preferred basketball. At midnight, Paul. I got a Spectra basketball break on my website, RipCityCards.com. So you can check that out as well. Spectra basketball from twenty sixteen seventeen. Kyrie Irving to 299 for the Celtics. Uh, if you mean, what are you talking about, Paul? For eBay, you gotta check our, our eBay. Uh, I think all listings are done for for the for the preferred basketball by now. Um, but if you're talking about the website, check the website out. John Wall of the Wizards with a napkin. So there was a John Wall in there for you, Bree Bree. Just not an auto. Larry Nance with the dunk in garbage time.
And here we got... Well, the rookies cards are pretty nice too. But as you guys just saw, incredibly difficult to hit in this. So I do wish you luck in the next go around because we do got a few of this. All right, so recapping it, we had relics, none of which are numbered. John Wall Wizards, DeMar DeRozan Raptors, Rudy Gobert Jazz, Vince Carter Sons. Dennis Smith Jr., Mavs. And uh, some decent parallels. A rated rookie for the Nuggets, Tyler Lydon to 49. These boys in red to 99. And autos for Vin Baker. That'll go to the Thunder. DeAndre Bambry, Heat. Jim Jones, Cavs. Bill Lambeer, Pistons. And Marcus Camby for the Trailblazers. That's what I do, Bree Bree, coming through in the clutch. And I hope I came through for y'all. This was 2017-18 Donruss Basketball, five box break number 14, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that right out to you.